Hello, my name is Amanda Nelson. I'm a rheumatologist at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, Division of Rheumatology, Allergy and Immunology, and the Thurston Arthritis Research Center. I've devoted much of my research career to osteoarthritis and the study of multiple joints involved with OA, including the hips and the hands. Today, we'll be talking about hand osteoarthritis, and we'll also talk a little bit about moose hips and their relation to hip OA in humans. Hand osteoarthritis is a very common cause of hand pain and itself is very common. It can be described in terms of symptoms, which are often pain, aching, or stiffness, and also radiographic features of hand osteoarthritis, which include bone spurs and loss of joint space. Depending on how it's defined, it can be incredibly common. Most people over age 80 have radiographic hand osteoarthritis or hand pain, which is very common but not always related to arthritis itself. Hand osteoarthritis can also be associated with osteoarthritis in other joint sites. So you may have knee OA or hip OA along with hand osteoarthritis. This doesn't necessarily mean that you have a systematic inflammatory arthritis, but can just be multiple joint osteoarthritis. One of the important things to distinguish from osteoarthritis are, are these other forms of inflammatory arthritis, particularly psoriatic arthritis. So the joints in your hand can be affected in a similar way with psoriatic arthritis as with osteoarthritis, but differently than from rheumatoid arthritis. In psoriatic arthritis, we often think of skin or nail changes accompanying the hand pain. And in rheumatoid arthritis, we often see the larger knuckles involved rather than the smaller knuckles of the fingers. So there are clear ways to determine the patterns and significance of these other findings. But again, the most common form of arthritis in the hands is osteoarthritis. Mm -hmm. 